The 2020 Western U.S. wildfire season was historic, both for the record 59,000 wildfires that formed and the 10.1 million acres they scorched. But right on its heels was 2021, in which nearly 52,300 fires were recorded, with more than 7.8 million acres burned through December 24th of that year. Since launching in 2016, NOAA's most advanced geostationary satellites are improving fire weather forecasts, wildfire detection, and fire hazard tracking in near real time. With lives and property at stake, timely, high-quality data is critical for firefighting efforts on the ground. NOAA's GOES-17, operating in the GOES-West orbit, has shown its metal, detecting and monitoring wildfires and the hazardous smoke they emit. There's two instruments on the GOES series of satellites which are helpful for wildfire detection and monitoring. The first is the Advanced Baseline Imager, or the ABI. We're able to detect hot spots from the thermal signatures from the fires, and we're also able to detect the smoke and track the smoke with time in order to issue notifications and warnings to the public. The second instrument is called the Geostationary Lightning Mapper, or the GLM. The GLM is important because oftentimes lightning is the cause of the start of wildfires, and so forecasters can monitor the GLM to see where lightning has occurred to decide whether or not they think some lightning may have started a fire. But a new satellite called GOES-T is poised to replace GOES-17 in the GOES-West position. Once it reaches orbit, GOES-T will be renamed GOES-18, and it will provide the same sophisticated technology to track wildfires in the western U.S., as well as detect lightning that can ignite a wildfire in parched vegetation. This current capability of GOES is the fact that we can do rapid scans, higher resolution with higher sensitivity, and include things for the first time like Lightning Mapper and the ABI instruments. I don't think we could imagine not having GOES capability. We absolutely need it. The National Interagency Fire Center is the nation's support center for wildland firefighting. GOES is an eye in the sky. It's giving us a hemispheric perspective with those 16 and 17 without having those two satellites up there constantly staring, constantly monitoring, constantly providing us with information. We really have a, just a big gap. We would lose a lot of our capability to understand the environment, to see the interaction of the fires with the atmosphere and see how the atmosphere is impacting the behavior of the fires. With those being able to look at the United States every five to 10 minutes, we're getting a much more real-time appreciation for how fires are behaving because of the ability of the GOES satellites to detect the heat from the fires. For more information about the launch of NOAA's GOES-T satellite, please visit the link.